MAGFED, I think, really grew a lot in 2013 and 2014, in Canada in particular, because paint prices are so high here. And that's not generally a problem in the United States. They have much cheaper paint prices. In the UK, when I was over there, their regular paint prices are also lower. So it's the way it grew here was really much of a, more of a grassroots thing. He did it because it's cheaper. He wanted to play, and because he wanted to play with people so much. Because people wanted to play as much as they did, they needed a way that they would use less paint. And the solution to that was Meg. Uh, now, as far as like what I know about my audience is that 50% of my audience is in the US. In the US, paint is dirt, dirt cheap. And MagFed isn't anecdotally as big as it is here in Canada. So how is it going to grow? I think that the way to make it grow is to show people how cool it is. Part of that is YouTube, seeing other people do it. But as much as you do that, to have to, to ask somebody to then take a MagFed gun, play limited ammo on a field with a whole bunch of other speedballers or even people who have big hoppers of 200 rounds that are just shooting a lot of paint is a lot to ask. And the people who are making it grow are the ones that actually go out there and do it. And then other people see how cool it is, see how much fun they're having, and then they're going to do it as well. So I think that uh, for it to grow, it's just going to take a lot of people to just go out there and be brave and, and play against people who outgun them in every sense possible, but still hold their own. What I would like to see changed in MagFed is a universal magazine. Uh, the Zeta Mag has already been really good in that regard for pistols, and you start to see it used in rifles, but I, I'm a big proponent of the 20 feet all the way through magazine. I mean, I don't want to be shooting 10, switching shooting 10. That's not 20 rounds. That's 10 and 10. I love to see a, a standard magazine across all rifles. So somebody with a mil sig can hand their mag to somebody with a 468 or a T-15 or a scarab arms, and everybody can just go back and forth and use the same mags. So I'm out of paint. I guess I'll be for my buddy who's next to me who's using his own gun. It's a different gun, but it still it still works. And I mean, for something like that, you just sort of need the top of the mag to be standardized. Like the bottom, how it looks, everything else can be different and manufacturer specific, but it's just how it engages into the gun is what needs to be standardized industry-wide. The key elements I feel in a good magazine design are that it doesn't engage accidentally by the user, so if you put it in your pouch, it's not going to engage the balls and make them fall. Uh, there's no way to lose the balls so that the detent holding it in are, have sort of a positive reinforcement so that when you, if you were to swing the mag, it actually pushes the detent so it holds it stronger. If somebody wants to engage the mag with their finger, they're able to do so, so that the mechanisms to do that aren't hidden within the mag and are exposed but still protected. There are solutions out there. The ideas just have to be shared amongst the manufacturers so that they can get the perfect solution and something that works every time, that can work in every single gun. Any tier one scenario game for me is a top notch max game, so I'd like to hit as many of those as I can next year. Um, I would like to go back to England, that was a lot of fun. Paintball has definitely given me an outlet for my adrenaline. MagFed is, I'd say, in some some circumstances, it's a lot more challenging. If you're playing an all MagFed game, then obviously that challenge is normalized across, and everybody's got the same obstacles. Uh, when you're playing a big game and everybody's involved, then there's a lot more challenge involved. I think it's sort of, I don't know, less fearful of getting hurt physically. As far as it adding to my character, I've always been a little pain tolerant, I suppose. I don't know, I've had a high pain threshold. <laughs> if it's not going to kill you, keep going, right?
Hey guys, I'm Alabaster Slim, you're watching Rapid Shots, my favorite show on the Citadel. Peace.